You want more tips to save time on Excel 2016? Rod here with part three, the last part of our Excel tips package. If you miss parts one and two, you should watch those right after this video. And do subscribe to our channel so you'll receive future videos automatically. When you want to enter the current date in your worksheet, instead of writing the date, simply write the function equal sign the word today followed by an open and close parentheses. This function will not only give you the current date, it will automatically update the date each time you open your document. But I can hear you saying now, okay, Rod, but what if I don't want the date to automatically update when I open my document? You want the date to remain the same. In that case, you just simply press Control, then Shift, then Comma, and the current date appears and will always remain the same. When you want to enter the current time in your worksheet, you can write the time yourself or do it much faster by writing equal sign, the word now, followed by an open and close parentheses. And like the date, the time will automatically update itself every time you open your document. What if you don't want the current time to update automatically? Well then, just press Control, then Shift, then Period, and you have the time and it will remain the same. If you have a long list of entries and there are some duplicate entries that you want to remove, here's a quick way to do that. Select the column of information where the duplicates exist by placing the cursor in the first cell, then pressing shift and the down arrow. Then go to data and click remove duplicates. And as you can see, the duplicate entries in the column you selected are gone. When you want to share worksheets but want to make sure nobody changes your data, you can prevent that by protecting your worksheet. Here's how. Go to review, then press protect sheet. Then create a password that you will remember because you're going to have to use it again when you want to access your worksheet. Then check off the activities you will allow your users to use. Then click OK and you're done. Click Unprotect Sheet when you want to remove the protection. Unless you really understand this next tip, you may find it hard to make changes simultaneously to columns of data selected from several columns of data. Let me explain. For example, here's a report on several production lines, and you want to work on columns C, E, and G at the same time. To do this, place your cursor in the middle of the first cell in column C. Then press Control, and with a left click of your mouse, drag it down to select the complete column. Now continue pressing Control and select the complete columns in columns E and G. Now you can work with all of these columns and at the same time. For example, you could color them all yellow. Hope these tips are helpful. And remember to go back and watch parts one and two if you missed them. And you can practice all the tips by hitting the download button below. If you liked this video, please comment, share it, and hit the like button. Please remember to subscribe so you can keep up with our video. And remind your friend that if they have an electronic device, they too can burn to learn. Thanks for watching. 